In my very popular non-toxic oil painting video, I pointed out that it would be best to remove all oil paints that have heavy metals. This included flake white, which has lead, and the cadmium paints like cadmium red and cadmium yellow. Since then, I've gotten a lot of artists asking me if the smell of those oil paints are toxic. The short answer is no. As long as they are no solvents in the heavy metal paints, you can breathe in their smell without inhaling the heavy metals. The reason why heavy metals can be toxic is if you are a messy painter and you get the oil paints all over you. And even then, it's only bad for you if you have unhealthy skin. This would be skin that has cuts or abrasions all over it, or any kind of dermatological issues that would allow chemicals to pass through the epidermis and dermis of your skin and through those layers. You know, although I, I have seen some very messy oil painters accidentally eat paint by putting brushes in their mouth. If you need a bath after you paint, you probably would want to go with just acrylics instead of oils. Also, never aerosolize your oil paints. Don't thin them out and put them in a spray bottle or put them in an airbrush. There's a whole host of inhalation issues there that I won't go into, especially for flake white. I mean, that's lead in the air. And lead is really bad. It's the reason why all cars are using unleaded gas now and your pencils are using graphite instead of lead. And I'm sorry, but I've tried lead white for years and the difference between it and other whites is negligible at best. It's definitely not worth the health risk in my opinion. Now, the one thing that you need to be aware of if you replace your cadmium paints with alternative colors is that many of them are not opaque like the cadmiums but I've got you covered there. I've replaced my cadmium yellow with Hansa yellow medium and my cadmium red light with naphthol scarlet. Both Hansa yellow medium and naphthol scarlet are semi-transparent and I've found that they work wonderfully for fully covering the canvas. Plus the semi-transparency adds a lot of depth in your work. And most of my mixtures involve titanium white, which makes them a little bit more opaque anyways, so that helps as well. Now, if you wanna see the full process I use with those exact colors on a painting tutorial with no solvents whatsoever, check out this painting tutorial right here. I think you'll love it. Thanks for watching, and I will see you next Thursday.